Welcome back to the Mysterious series, where we uncover the world's most intriguing and unsolved enigmas. This week, we dive into one of the most bizarre and intriguing events in military history, the Great Emu War. How did Australia find itself waging war against a flightless bird? And what were the consequences of this unusual conflict? Join us as we explore the fascinating and almost unbelievable tale of the Great Emu War. Our story begins in the aftermath of World War I, when the Australian government promised returning soldiers parcels of land in Western Australia to convert into wheat farms. However, by the early 1930s, these farmers faced severe hardships due to the Great Depression, falling wheat prices, and a prolonged drought. Just as they were struggling to make ends meet, they encountered an unexpected adversary, the emu. In late 1932, an estimated 20,000 emus migrated from inland to the coast, invading the wheat farms in search of food and water. The emu, a large and flightless bird native to Australia, caused significant damage to crops and fences, further exacerbating the farmers' woes. Desperate for a solution, the farmers turned to the government for help, responding to their plea. The government deployed a small military force to the region, equipped with two Lewis machine guns and 10,000 rounds of ammunition. Major GPW Meredith of the Royal Australian Artillery was tasked with leading this unusual operation, now known as the Great Emu War. The first confrontation occurred on November 2, 1932, near Campion. Despite careful planning, the emus proved to be surprisingly agile and resilient. The birds quickly dispersed into smaller groups, making them difficult targets for the soldiers. Over the next few days, several skirmishes took place, but the emus' speed and evasive tactics rendered the military's efforts largely ineffective. By November 8th, after expending 2,500 rounds of ammunition and managing to kill only a few hundred emus, the military temporarily withdrew. The initial phase of the campaign had failed, prompting ridicule and criticism from the press and public. Undeterred, Major Meredith regrouped and resumed the operation in mid-November. This time, the soldiers focused on ambushing the emus near dams and water sources. Although this approach yielded slightly better results, the emus continued to outsmart and outrun the soldiers. By December, the military withdrew for good, having killed approximately 1,000 emus out of the original 20,000. In the aftermath of the Great Emu War, the Australian government sought alternative solutions to the emu problem. They eventually implemented a bounty system, encouraging hunters to cull the emu population. This method proved more effective and less costly than the military operation. The Great Emu War remains a fascinating and often humorous episode in Australian history. It highlights the challenges faced by early settlers and the unexpected ways in which nature can disrupt human endeavors. The emus, for their part, have become a symbol of resilience and adaptability. Adding to the story, it's important to understand the broader context in which the Great Emu War took place. The early 20th century was a period of significant change for Australia. The country was dealing with the economic fallout of the Great Depression, and many rural communities were struggling to survive. The government's promise to support returning soldiers by providing them with farmland was well-intentioned, but the reality of farming in the harsh Australian landscape proved challenging. The decision to involve the military in combating the EMU problem was not taken lightly. Major Meredith and his men were tasked with an unusual and arguably impossible mission. Their initial strategy involved corralling the emus into a smaller area to maximize the effectiveness of their machine guns. However, the emus' unpredictable behavior and surprising speed made this tactic largely ineffective. The public and media's reaction to the Great Emu War was mixed. While some saw it as a necessary intervention to protect farmers' livelihoods, others viewed it as a farcical and misguided effort. Newspapers of the time published both critical and humorous accounts of the military struggles, contributing to the enduring legend of the Great Emu War. The legacy of the Great Emu War extends beyond the immediate aftermath of the conflict. In subsequent years, the story has been referenced in popular culture, including books, documentaries, and even video games. It serves as a cautionary tale about the unpredictability of nature and the limitations of human intervention. In recent times, Historians and researchers have taken a critical look at the Great Emu War, delving into the socio-economic factors that triggered the conflict and exploring the environmental implications of both the emu population surge and the military's intervention. This comprehensive analysis has shed new light on the event, providing a more nuanced understanding of its significance in Australian history. The Great Emu War also offers insights into human-animal interactions and the challenges of wildlife management. 
the emu's resilience and adaptability highlight the complex dynamics between human agricultural practices and native wildlife. Modern conservationists and policymakers can learn valuable lessons from this historical episode as they navigate similar challenges today. Thank you for joining us on this journey into one of history's most peculiar episodes. What do you think of the Great Emu War? Was it a case of human ingenuity versus nature? Or simply a series of unfortunate events? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more episodes of the Mysterious series. See you next week for another deep dive into the unknown. Perhaps the answers lie not in grand solutions, but in the haunting echoes of the unknown. For the truth, curiosity never rests. As elusive as it may be is the very lifeblood of the mystery. Till next time, remember the shadows whisper. Wind carries forgotten tales. The veil between the known and the unknown is always tantalizingly thin. Stay curious, stay skeptical, most importantly, never stop questioning. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment below.